Okay, today we're going to look at the hardpoint joint tool uh, that was recently added to the uh, 933, 932, and 934 versions of the legacy mod tools. And that's under the new button, hardpoints. Starts out with a generic hardpoint setup. Now basically you need a model. Here's a model with no joints. And it comes with a an exporter for milkshake that you use the legacy joint tool ASCII. And we'll export that. You can go back in here and you'll see there's no mesh groups or in there, we use import, press stop, import the groups we just had. Now, because there are no joints, the joints stayed the same, and it just add the mesh groups. So, we'll add all of those joints to here, and you'll see it puts the M underscore here, it puts an S underscore, H, and E, respectively. and they get added to whatever your selected joint is. Now we want to get at and move our joints around so we can either pick them up and drop them or we can check them, select, and move to checked. And put some, so that's if you're doing a group of them, it can be a little quicker to check them all. But this creates our brake nodes for our engines, which happen to be the barrel engines on the side of the model. Now we're going to add some lights. We're going to have a green strobe. And we want to increment it. And that's going to go on the starboard engine brake now. We want a red strobe on the port engine and then we want four white strobes just on the lights now we want to have hard points uh, sent uh, core hard point sensor hard point and shield hard point with no directional Increment those, put those in hard points. I want to put a hard point in each engine. And then, as the Serenity was not equipped with weapons, that's okay. Uh, we're still going to give it a couple. So we're going to put. Uh, Two forward firing hard points. Two one aft firing hard point. And there's our hard point tree. We'll build that, export it. Now the export from the tool actually is in the milkshake ASCII, so there is not a custom importer. Um, just use the milkshake ASCII, 3D ASCII, to import it. Okay, so now we restored our texture. You see here's all our hard points. These are our forward firing po points directional nodes and the aft firing point directional node. And we're going to 
basically you just need to relocate hard points as you want them. Um, just go in here, double click on it, it will select the hard point you double clicked on. they're not exactly where they need to be yet but I think you should get the basic idea by now so now is our, there is our hard pointed firefly class uh, the same thing works for uh, we can clear our tree here so see that clears back to the default tree. Now that we've added our joints here, if we export these this time, oops, hit the wrong one, then we will now have our hard points just like we set them up. Now they do retain their position as we relocate a number of the joints. They are actually relocated. If you go over to the grid view, that lets you see here's the red strobe has been relocated, green strobe has been relocated, hard point 2, hard point 3, hard point 6, hard point 7, hard point 8, etc. have been relocated. And hard point 8 are rotated which that's the aft firing hard point which is why it's rotated from here we can make changes move things around etc add additional lights or whatever we want export it, build it, export it again then when you want to bring that modified hard point back in you delete your existing joints and import the milkshake again it's simple as that and you see we retain our positional data and all that through the conversion uh, we'll also retain um, pattern and intensity uh, entries as well but since I didn't use any there's none there uh, pattern and intensity entries are actually comments on the joint that are entered in here. So uh, that should be it for today. Thank you for your time.